Isn't that lovely? Hello everyone, my name is Jasurium, and I bid you all a warm welcome to a brand new Let's Play of... Banjo-Kazooie! Yes, it has been an incredibly long, long, long time since the last Let's Play I did. And because the Ruin DLC of Five Nights Security Breach still isn't out for the Xbox or Switch yet, and because this was one of several recommendations from the research tab on YouTube, well, at least in my case, I figured, you know what? Why not? So, let's not waste any more time and get started. And that is... That is a creepy-looking little area. So, let's press start. Alright, let's begin. Alright, so... We have Banjo sleeping peacefully. Right there. We have him cooking in the kitchen over there. And we have him playing on what looks like a Game Boy. Okay, how can he be in three places at once? That's a little bit confusing. You know what? Let's start with game one. And here is where our story begins. Ding pot, ding pot, by the bench. Who is the nicest looking wench? Why, it's Grunty any day. She really takes my breath away. <coughs> yes, you're right. I'm rather proud. My looks stand me out from the crowd. Uh, but there is this girl. What? What do you mean? This cannot be. There's no one prettier than me. Why? It's Tootie, young and small. She is the prettiest girl of all. No, no, no! You must be mad! Nicer beauty can't be had! Unfortunately, I think you'll find it's Tootie. She's cute and kind. Well, we'll see about that! Meanwhile... Hi there, Tootie! What are you going to do today? When my big lazy brother wakes up, we're going on an adventure. I stumbled my words there, but whatever. And there we have Banjo sleeping. Wake up! I want to go on an adventure too! If Tootie thinks she's fairer than me, I'll steal her looks and ugly she'll be! Is that your brother? Where, Mr. Mole? I can't see him. Up there, in the sky. I don't think so. Who is that? Come to me, my little pretty. You'll soon be ugly. What a pity. Let me go, you ugly old hag. Don't scratch and bite, my little bear! You'll soon need bigger underwear! Oh no, she's got her! Somebody, help! 
Banjo, wake up! Now! <laughs> what do you want, Kazooie? Let's get outside! There's trouble! Ouch. So yeah. That's how the story starts. Basically, we go through what seems like... What seems like... The same old story of... Snow White. You know, the one. The evil queen being like... May mirror, mirror on the wall, who's the fairest maiden of them all? She wants the mirror to say it's her, but in reality it was Snow White. Well, kind of same premise, except... Apparently... The witch you just saw was wanting to be the prettiest one in the land, only for Banjo's sister to be much prettier than her, and, well, she takes her to make her ugly, and that's about it. That's basically this game in a nutshell. Just Snow White, except everyone's an animal, except for the witch or some other NPCs. And yeah, that's all I got. Anyways, let's continue onward. Listen up, I'm Bottles, the short-sighted mole. I'm Banjo, and this here is my buddy Kazooie. Sure is a strange looking buddy, Banjo can talk. Better than you can, Goggle Boy. What was all that noise about? Where's my sister? Tootie. The ugly witch Gruntilda swooped down and out of the sky and grabbed her. Calm down, Geeky. We'll get her back. Where'd she go? She flew up to her mountain lair. It's really dangerous, so you'll probably need some training before you go up there. Press A if you want me to teach you some basic moves, or press B if you think you're already good enough. Uh, you know what, it's been years since the last time I played this. Well, before this channel existed, so... Why don't we just accept to brush up on it? Yeah, 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 I know bottles. Just let's get started. We'd like some help, bottles. What do we do? Explore this area and look out for my molehills. Stand next to them and press X to call me. See you soon. All right, bye bottles. All right. And already, there's a molehill up ahead. Uh, anyone home? Hello again. Let's start with the camera controls. They're on the right stick. Jeez, that's nothing special. Try this then, Beaky. Tap the right or left bumper to move the camera behind Banjo. Is that all, Worm Breath? No. Hold the right or left bumper to keep the camera behind your feathery butt. Try it out. I'll see you at the next molehill. Alright, so... Alright, so the left is to move the character and... Right's to move the camera. Pretty self-explanatory. All right, to the next molehill. Hmm, your jump could do with some help. Ha! What a 
moles know about jumping? More than you. Press A to jump and hold it to jump higher. Come on, Feathers. You can give him a hand. Why? I'll look silly. I know it. Jump, then press A again in the air for a double jump. That's it. We're ready to move on. Not until you learn this one first. You must stand like this. What? Wearing ridiculous glasses and a silly grin? I'm not listening. Hold the right or left trigger, then press A for the mighty flat flip jump. Alright, hang on. What was it again? Hold the right or left. Okay. Then press A. Okay. There we go. That's all the jumps. Keep practicing. I see something up on that stump. Let's grab it. I'm an extra honeycomb piece. Collect six of us to increase your energy bar. So yeah, those honeycombs, they increase our health every time we grab six of them, judging from the looks of that. And is it just me, or does this hill kind of remind me of the hill from Conker's Bad Fur Day? Then again, this came out several years prior. So, anyways, moving on. Fancy learning to swim underwater? Ooh, sounds difficult. And I'll get my fur wet. Come on, Banjo, I want to swim. Spill the beans, Specky. Use the left stick to swim on the surface. To swim underwater, press X to dive. Go on, give it a try. While underwater, Banjo can press A to kick his legs, and the winged wonder can press X to use her wings. Ah, how soothing. That's enough swimming around. Press X when swimming on the surface to dive. While underwater, press A to swim slowly or X to swim quickly. Okay? Alright, I think I get it now. My beak barge attack needs the help of old chicken legs. At least I've got some legs, short stuff. Hold the right or left trigger, then press X for a powerful beaky barge. See, Banjo? She is useful for something. I'm trying this move out on you next, Jam Jars. Ow. 
All right, so that's three honeycombs. On to the next molehill. Banjo, it's time for you to learn the claw swipe attack. What is it? I must know. Simply press X when standing still or moving slowly. Sounds good. What can I try it out on? Well, how about bird brain? Just try it, bottle boy. Only kidding. Let me find something with a challenge. Ah, there's Topper. Whack him, Banjo. That sounds wrong if taken out of context. Ow. Come back here. Stop popping away from me and get over here. There we go. Wow. Nice one. Try another one. Hey, I want some moves. Now try my fearsome forward roll. I want to learn to fly now. Roll by running and pressing X. I'll see if I can find ball for you to practice on. I see. There we go. Bullseye! One more. Stop rolling! I feel sick! It's time for the buzzard to learn a trick. It had better be a good one, Squinty. Try out the rat attack rap by jumping and pressing X in the air. Now where is Collywobble? There we go. Mmm, not bad, Feather Face. Give me another bog eyes. You've learned all of the basic attacks now. See you around. All right, I think that's all the basics we can learn at this time. So I guess now it's time as any to go off and save Banjo's sister. All right, out of the way. Pardon me. Mmm, -hmm. I'm sticky tasty honey energy. So that's our health. Oh, hello, there's another honeycomb there. All right, carefully, carefully. Oh, hello, what do we have here? There's something in that waterfall. Wait a minute, there's another molehill here. Ow! Rude. Come back here. Hey, Banjo. I hope you're not afraid of heights. I'm not. Tell me about flying, Root Muncher. Not yet. Banjo, jump onto a tree, then use the left stick to climb. Up or down. That's it. You've learned all the basic moves. Meet me at the top of the spiral mountain, and I'll tell you what to do next. Alright, so first, let's test out climbing the tree. You'll find plenty of other things to climb. 
Okay? All right. Now that we've learned everything, it's time to traverse Spiral Mountain and begin our journey proper. Well done, guys. You're ready to tackle the witch now. We sure are. Show us the way, bottle boy. I've fixed the bridge so you can cross it and enter Gruntilda's lair. Thanks, bottles. Look out for me inside. Good luck. You know, it's kind of odd for us living within walking distance of the Wicked Witch, and I see a honeycomb down there. I want to grab that honeycomb before we actually start. And with that, we have an extra honey comb, well, honey piece for our health. All right. I'd grab that trophy behind the waterfall, but we can worry about that later. We don't have to worry. Actually, you know what? I'm going to try to grab it one more time before we move on. There we go! Look out for me! I'm an extra life! So yeah, those... So yeah, that trophy you just saw was an extra life. So we started out with three, and now because we grabbed that trophy, we grab an extra life, which gives us four. All right. Now that the basics are truly out of the way, let's continue on our journey. All right, over the rickety old bridge and into the mountain. Oh, hello, what do we have here? Suddenly we entered the fly. This fine contraption, so I'm told, will make me young and tooty old. Let me go, you fat head! My brother will come and kick your butt! Rescue you, he will not dare. There's my dangers in my lair. Hurry, Klungo, push that switch. I'm tired of being an ugly witch. Yes, Mistress Grunty. Power is on. Soon be ready. Banjo! There he is! The fun begins! My tricks and traps will see who wins. Oh yeah, well we'll see about that, you old witch. Hey, it's me, Mr. Jiggy. Now go and find a picture with a piece missing. What? Did Kazooie just swallow a puzzle piece? Not healthy, Kazooie. You're going to have a bunch of ruptured intestines from all that, or something. I don't know. All right. How do we get up there? Well, I guess we can't go up there yet. Ah, there's a missing 
Puzzle piece? This is the first world. Mumbo's Mountain. To open the door, you'll need to find the jigsaw picture with an image of this area on it. Have a look around. To enter the world shown on the picture, you must fill in the missing spaces with the jigsaw pieces. We've got the first jigsaw piece, Goggle Boy. Great, to fill in the missing spaces on a picture, press A. If you don't want to use any jigsaw pieces, press B to leave. Alright, so I guess we'll use our first jigsaw piece. Grunty admits she's a hog. I really need a big hot dog. That's it. The picture's complete, and the door to Mumbo's Mountain is open. That was such an easy fit. The others may just test your wit. Alright, so here we're introduced to Mumbo's Mountain. There are three new moves to learn in this world. Find my molehills, and I'll explain. Okay? Alright, first we get rid of you. Oh, hello there. Ollie-oop! Yippee! You saved me! Gruntilda has imprisoned five of us Jinjos on each world. Free us all to get a Jiggy. Things a bit slippy, huh? Find me and I'll teach you how to get up steep slopes. Okay. Oh, hello. Me Mumbo's token used for Mumbo magic. Okay. So, we found a token to use Mumbo's magic. But that's only if we find him. I'm a note! One of a hundred on each world. Collect us to open the noted to open the note doors. Okay, so essentially the notes here are like the Microsoft equivalent of the coins in Mario 64. And the jiggies are basically like the power stars. Good to know. Oh, hey, another Jinjo. What do you know? Alright, swim slowly to grab that note. And we better get that note quickly before we run out of air. Because if swimming in video games has taught me anything when there's a breath meter, you cannot stay in the water for very long. Because if you run out of air, you drown. And quite graphically, I may add. Go away! Leave my honeycombs alone! How about no? Oh hi! Oh bye! Let's not deal with you right now! Hi! Bye! And what do you know? There's another jiggy piece. Alright. Hang on. Out of the way. There we go. Ah, another molehill. I call this the Beak Buster. 
jump into the air, then press the right or left trigger to send Kazooie slamming hard down to the floor. I don't like the sound of that, Banjo. Get used to it, nest girl. You'll be using it a lot. And with that, it gives us a bunch of music notes. And what do you know? Some eggs. We are the eggs! Kazooie can learn to use us as ammo. Oh, hi! Found a Jinjo. And an extra life, too. Sweet. And what do we have here? Yet another Jiggy. You must search for ten of us on each world. We'll help you progress through the witch's lair. When you're ready to leave this world, return to the start area and stand on the exit pad. Okay, that is if we wanted to, but we're not going to for the moment yet. Because we've got some music notes and, and jiggies to find. Like this one here. Alright, so let's go back up the mountain and grab the remaining music notes. Before we move on. Unless there's something else that needs to be done. We Juju, Mumbo's totem pole. Feed us with nice blue stones. Okay. How do I do that? Okay, so that brings us over here. All right. No, 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 no. Dang it. Come on, Banjo. Back up the steps. Got these. Now to get the ones over that way. Come on. Well, I guess that's one way of climbing back up. All right, fly over here, grab these three. No, 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 <sighs> come on. All right, up we go. Once again. And I see a, and I see a jigsaw puzzle piece in that eye. I am going to go grab that. Maybe, possibly. Almost! Come on! 
Come on, Banjo! You can do it! See? Alright, we'll just destroy you and take your honeycombs. Alright, careful. Alright, grab these. And either glide or slide down. Whichever method you prefer. Yippee! You collected enough notes to break the first note door. Spell. Here's the thing. I haven't gotten to the note door yet. So, we can open those if we want to, but first... Let's go talk with Mambo, I think. And he's more than likely expecting us in here. And he's sleeping. Alright. Oh, hello. Me Mumbo, best shaman in all game. Can help Banjo and Filthy Feathered One. Watch it, hut boy! Mumbo's magic tokens hit by witch. Find tokens and Mumbo help you. Banjo not got enough tokens for Mumbo magic. Look at sign. Bring more. Okay, so we don't have enough... We don't have enough of those tokens yet, so it looks like we're gonna have to talk with Mumbo later. So I guess that means we're gonna have to keep searching. Hey, ugly! No bears allowed in Ticker's Tower! Wow, rude. Hey, wait! There's a token up there. I need that. Almost! Alright, so that was Ticker's Tower, but we will not get to that yet. Because we don't have the thing for it yet. Oh, there's another jigsaw piece. We'll grab that first, and then we'll talk with bottles. Alright, what do you have to say, bottles? The Talon Trot will let Kazooie tackle steep slopes with ease. That sounds useful. How does she do it? Hold the right trigger, then press the left. Continue to hold the right or left while moving. Kazooie around with the left stick. Go practice. Okay. Okay, so that's how that works. Alright, so we got several more music notes and another Jinjo. I guess this will help us climb up that hill we tried to get up earlier. Alright, so... All right, we got all the Jinjos, and that gives us the music, not the music note, the, the jigsaw puzzle piece. But there's plenty more to grab in this area. And I'm gonna make 
an assumption that one of them is inside that tower. Alright, let's grab these music notes. Ah! This conga tree! Me hit bear with oranges! Chimpy hungry! Wants orange now! Feed Chimpy! Don't touch Gonga's blocks! Alright, so I guess we have to make him splat oranges on the blocks. Ugh! Clever bear, find Conga's gold! Well, joke's on you, it's not your gold and I mean... It's not your gold anymore, it's mine! Nearly stumbled on my words there. I am safe here, bear can't hit Conga. Oh, don't be so sure. Because I might have a method to defeat you. I just have to get up there. Ow! Ah. Conga is good shot. Adjust myself. No, that did not work. Crap. How in the hell am I gonna get up there? You there! Ow. Oh crap. Alright, can I safely jump on him? No, I cannot! Crap! Ow! Run! And a, another skull piece, what do you know? Alright, now we just need one more. But I don't rem There it is! Now, how am I gonna get up there? Yes, shut up. I guess I need to hit him while he isn't looking. Maybe, possibly, I don't know. Toro! Toro! Ow! Rude?
Damn it! What's wrong, Banjo? Is it tough? Let me know when you had enough. There are three new moves to learn. Well, no need to explain it to me again. I already learned these. Alright, let's see. 94 notes? Okay, how the hell am I gonna get up there? Is it possible for me to get up? Yes, shut up. Kind of? Okay, only the first two. I'm gonna have to come back later after I get that last skull piece. Ow! I kind of already got the... Yeah, I know you want an orange. But I don't know how to get an orange yet. Arg! There's a molehill up there, and it's bothering me. And I've been disconnected. What? Okay, hang on one second. And there we go. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap! That little health face, though, that changes every time you either grab health or take a hit. Ow! Rude. Okay, apparently I cannot go bull riding. I am upset. Over here! Is it possible to knock him down that way? No, it is not! Crap!
Come on, up, banjo. Up. Come on, there's got to be a way to get up there. I might have done it before, but I don't remember how I did it. Damn it! Uh, no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave yet. Okay, so I learned two of them. Now I just gotta get to that other mole hill and learn the last one. Alright, I think I get the gist of what I need to do now. Ow. Okay. I already got that jigsaw piece. Alright, so... Got the orange. There you go. Oh! Chimpy like Conga's orange! Chimpy helped fat bear and bird. I see, so that's what we needed to do. We have we had to climb on the tree to get the orange, and then the monkey will get off the stump so we can get up here. All you all right, Bottles, what do you have to teach us now? But first... Hello, what do we have here? And that reveals another jigsaw piece. Okay, now let's talk to Bottles. What do you have to say? Time for the buzzard to learn the ancient ways of the egg. I'm listening, Beetle Breath. Hold the right or left trigger, then press Y to shoot an egg out of your mouth. Hey, sounds cool. Anything else? Sure, press B instead and you can shoot them out from behind. Sheesh! Sounds painful. I wish I'd never asked. Bird Brain can carry a hundred eggs in her backpack. Oh, and you can also use the left stick to aim while you are crouching. Egg sighting, huh? Oi, puns. Now that you've learned to use the eggs, here's 50 to practice with. Hmm, your energy is a little low. I'll fill it up for you. Whoa, Banjo! There's nothing more I can teach you on this... in this world. Okay? Thank you, Bottles. Well, I guess there's one or two things left to do. And one of them is to knock this King Kong bastard out of the tree. Be safe here. Bear can't hit Conga. That's where you're wrong, bastard. Huh? Oh, right. I have to... 
There we go. Ah! Egg hurt! Ow! Yes, shut up. There we go. Ugh! Bear beat Conga. Me give prize to Bear. Where were you keeping that? And he's back to throwing oranges at us. And I am low on health. Give me the honeycombs. Shit! Didn't want to do that. Ow. Alright, fine. I'll leave you alone. Stupid bull. That bull is mean. Alright, you go away. And here we go. And I missed. Alright, that's one. Missed. That's two. Dang it. Three. And... Voila! And here we have yet another jigsaw piece for the taking. Alright, and I think the last one requires us to go in here. Oh, Mumbo! I got five tokens. Ah, Banjo has plenty tokens. Stand on scroll and press X to see mighty mumbo magic. Okay. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell? Ah! I'm a termite now! Mumbo's magic free to change back. You come when ready. Termite bit small, but not bad for first spell. Alright, and we're tiny now. So that just leaves one more thing to do, and that is to climb up Ticker's Tower. And I see the last few music notes up there. Uh. Are you going to move? Oh, I have to go that way. Hey, where did you get those shorts? I want them! Too bad, so sad. They're mine. Alright. Give me that cool backpack, or else! How about no? You found all 100 notes on this world. Well done. Thank you, Bottles. Um, you're gonna move so I can take the eggs? Rude.
All right, let's grab that extra life. And that is World 1 complete. And off we go. You know, I'm surprised we don't take fall damage as a termite. But that'd be probably scary if I jump from that height as regular Banjo. Alright, Mumbo, I'm ready to turn back. All right, now that World 1 is done, let us go to the exit, get our Jiggy on top of the mountain at the entrance, and then we'll call it an episode. Dang it! Hmm. Guess we do need the termite transformation to get that. Which means we gotta backtrack all the way back up the mountain. You go away. You. I need to be a termite. Again. There we go. Mumbo magic get weak, animal turn back, or magic go. Magic all gone, must go back to bear and bird, now. Alright, thank you for that. Alright, you go away. Alright, so that's Mumbo's mountain complete. So now, now that we've learned the moves in that area, we can go back here and make our way up this hill. First destroy you, grab all your honeycombs, and then speak with bottles. This is a note door, sealed by Grunty with one of her powerful musical spells. Open it up then, Jam Jars. It's not that simple. To open it, you must collect the musical notes from the world. How many do we need? The number on the door is the strength of the spell. The combined total of all your best note scores from the world must be at least this to break Grunty's magic. All right, so we have 50 of them. And that opens 
the next world. That door was easy. You got past. Unfortunately, you're first and last. So you say. When you open a world door, baddies escape and roam once more. Well, this is Kazooie's shock jump disc. Find me and I'll tell you how to use it. Alright, so... That's the next world and- oh, hello! I almost forgot about you! Hello there, young ones. I'm Brentilda, Gruntilda's nicer sister. I've crept down here to help you defeat the old hag. It's about time she was taught a lesson. I know all of Grunty's disgusting secrets, and I'll tell you three of them every time you find me. Remember them well, young ones, as they will help you avoid a fiery fate. Press X if you'd like to hear them. Grunty brushes her rotten teeth with tuna ice cream flavored toothpaste. Yuck! That's nasty. She also washes her hair with rancid milk. Yuck! Yuck indeed! And she gets her clothes from Saggy Maggie's boutique. Okay. Okay, I think... I think we get it. Alright. Thank you, Bruntilda. Alright, so... This leads us to our next world. To remove pieces that you have already put down, move the right stick down. But once the picture is complete, all the pieces are stuck there permanently. Okay, thanks for the heads up. And a new world is open. The question is, where does this lead us? Oh, hi. Bye. Alright, down we go. Alright. Before we end this off, let's jump up here. Defeat you. Grab these. Whee! I'm a red feather. I help Kazooie fly when she knows how. I see. Alright. But get rid of you, grab these honeycombs, and we're just gonna stand right here and end off on that note. So, my name has been Jasirium, this has been Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie, and in the next episode, we are going to start off World 2, Treasure Trove Cove. So until then, I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Ow! That was rude! This stupid quest you should stop. You won't get to me at the top. Oh, shut up, Gruntilda. Anyways, goodbye. <laughs>